The Brazos Valley World Fest celebrated a day full of culture and inclusion today. Our 25 News reporter Hannah King shows us how organizers how to make changes to make sure everyone stays safe amidst the coronavirus pandemic. The Brazos Valley World Fest was mostly virtual this year, but today performers were able to participate in live performances at the Palace Theater in downtown Bryan, and this will wrap up the 14th annual event. Kim Fox, manager of the Brazos Valley World Fest, says even though things looked a little different, everyone from the competitors to the community got the full World Fest experience. We ended up with more than 40 different performance information and demonstration videos that are on our BrazosValleyWorldFest.org website. Fox saw events throughout the community get canceled this year, making her and her team even more determined to find a way to save their event. And as the summer progressed, we were able to, to schedule actually some live activities in addition to our virtual. So we're really excited to have a combination of those and still be an event for the community to enjoy and appreciate and you know, learn about the countries and cultures that live here in our community. Snook SPJST performed Saturday showcasing its Czech heritage. We're all of Czech heritage and we just danced the Czeska Beseta, which is made up of multiple different Czech dances, including polkas and waltzes. The Palace Theater had many cultures on display, including African safari storytelling and American Indian dancing. My story is actually one that was shared to me by my grandmother. A unique partnership between World Fest and Destination Bryan helped both events and showed off downtown Bryan as a great place to shop local. Downtown Bryan can just offer a really great experience um, with having events here and, and it definitely is a huge support to all of our businesses to have the traffic down here today for this event. With most of the activities virtual this year, organizers were able to provide attendees this culture and craft bag full of activities from around the world. Reporting from downtown Bryan, Hannah King, 25 News.